Would you like to have ageless skin whether you're 35 or 80? Well, it's easy, I promise you. First, change the way you're eating. From a diet of packaged convenience foods to pesticide-free, whole organic foods that are unprocessed. Next, never use canned fruits in any recipe that needs sweetening. Instead, go for fresh top quality stevias. Then, use organic spices and herbs to, to create great flavors for all your dishes. The sugar content of any food is most deliberately hidden by food manufacturers who, if they list it at all, they give it a name that shoppers will not recognize. So it's essential that you be very cautious when looking for alternatives to sugar itself. These fall into three main categories. First, there are the artificial sweeteners, which you must avoid like the plague if you value your skin and your health. Then there are the sugar alcohols. And then there are the so-called natural sweeteners. Okay, here's what you need to remember about them all. The first group never to use are the artificial sweeteners. Each is harmful in its very own way. These include aspartamine, which is the worst of the lot. You'll find it in Equal and NutraSweep, as well as hidden in all sorts of packaged foods and sugar-free gums and stuff like that. Then there's sucralose. It's also nasty. It's the main ingredient in Splenda. And, of course, there's good old saccharin, which you can find in Sweet and Low, as well as so many other things, and it won't even be named. There is much evidence to back up how dangerous these artificial sweeteners are. Please avoid all of them forever if you care about your skin and your health. The second group of sugar alternatives are the sugar alcohols. And they all have O-L in their name, uh, such, such as like xylitol and sorbitol and uh, mannitol and glycerol and lactitol, lactitol. These sugar alcohols can spike your blood sugar, so beware. Just because some product label says sugar-free on it, this is not necessarily the truth, nor can you be sure that it's calorie-free. Probably the safest of the lot is xylitol but only if you use it occasionally and sparingly. By the way, xylitol is deadly for your cats and your dogs. I mean deadly. The third group of sugar substitutes is often referred to as natural sweeteners. This is a misnomer, if I ever have heard one. Take agave syrup and agave nectar, which are even worse than the dreadful high fructose corn syrup. It's absurd to refer to these products as natural, despite all of the advertising hype that tries to make you think that they are. Higher in sugar content than almost any other sweetener on the market, agave has virtually no nutritional value. As for honey, this has sadly become seriously distorted by the hideous damage being done to our bee colonies. So you want to avoid honey as well, unless you gather it from your own hives. So what are your safest choices? Well, stevia is number one on the list. This is an exotic herb which grows in subtropical areas of South America. And this plant's been used to sweeten herbal drinks since pre-Columbian times. I tell you, it's a godsend for enhancing health and reducing your sugar intake. It's great for sweetening drinks and baking dishes, but make sure you use only the best. All sorts of so-called stevias like Truvia and Purvia continue to be promoted by multinational corporations. They call themselves all natural sweeteners. In reality, these products have been manufactured only from, quote, certain active ingredients, unquote, in the stevia plant, not from the whole plant. As a result, they are distortions of the real thing. Don't use them. Another good natural sweetener is Lo Han Guo, which comes from a Chinese fruit. It's a bit more expensive than stevia, but it's very good. Sugar of any kind is a killer, both in terms of your health and your looks. Make these changes now, and in as little as three weeks, you will be amazed at how much better your skin looks and how much better you feel all round. 
you may be surprised that after a month or two, you find that you no longer even want sugar once your body has quite naturally eliminated its sugar cravings. I find this happens to many, many people. It's a feeling of breaking free from some control mechanism that once undermined your life and even your sense of self. Try it and find out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 